Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Sir David the Bard here. I'm coming to you from the uh, Washington Monument. That's a hell of a staircase. I'll tell you that right now. That's a hell of a staircase for a quad bypass guy. And the little tiny windows up here at the top suck. You can't hardly see shit up here. And, uh, you know, it's kind of cold. I don't think there's any heat in here. But anyway, uh, you know, the Washington Monument, uh, I guess, is a good place to see once in your life. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a video on something that, that, that again, seems so simple. That the Mormon Church can't possibly be what it says that it is. Joseph Smith, according to the Mormon Church, saw God and Jesus Christ, and they told him, don't join any other churches, we're going to create the Mormon Church. Now, you know, I, I watch a lot of uh, <clears throat> TV because life bores me. There's nothing out that front door that I want at all. I have everything that I want right here. Well, Marie Osmond, are you still out there now? <laughs> she, she's pushing 60. I never thought I would think that somebody uh, pushing 60 was cute. Anyway, anyway, these shows that I watch are like um, Criminal Minds, and um, they tell me or show me constantly how police investigate. A lot of this stuff I didn't know. And uh, when you tell your story the first time to the police, um, it better be right. <laughs> because if you change it, then they're going to say, you're lying. You're lying. If you change it twice, you're lying. If you change it three times, you're lying. If you change it four times, you're lying. Now, I have a link on here. Go down and take a look at it if you're interested. How many times Joseph Smith <laughs> made up the first vision account? Sometimes he saw angels. Oh, God, let me put my glasses on here. Let me tell you. Uh, I don't know if he just saw trees. <laughs> I don't know. Here it is uh, here. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Here's 6, uh, 18, uh, 27, 1827, 1830, 1832. 1835, uh, 1835, 1835, 1838, and uh, 1844. There's six accounts right there that, you know, if you saw God and Jesus Christ, God damn, how could you forget? You know, I remember um, when I uh, saw, I've seen the birth of most of my babies, and I I'll tell you right now, I can't forget I can't forget, you know, you have certain um, experiences in life that are so vast and so overwhelming that you remember them. Now, Joseph being uh, less than a sixth grader, poor, and his dad a farmer, and he decides to go out in the grove, <laughs> I don't know if he was <laughs> looking for a place to piss. In those days, they didn't have bathrooms or toilets, and he decided uh, that he uh, had a vision out there. Now, some accounts say he was 16, 15, 14. We don't know. In fact, we don't know anything. This guy just made shit up quicker than society could correct it. So the Mormon Church now is trying to correct that. And uh, my, my word of rumor uh, is that their next essay uh, explaining their bullshit and saying, ah, we made it up, is going to be about Joseph Smith and his many visions of the Father, the Son, the angels, the group of angels, the pillar of fire. He's made all this shit up. So, you know, if he was arrested today in our society, and he came up with the original story, by the time he got to uh, court, he'd be, uh, you know, basically looking at life in prison because he just lied and lied and lied. He made it up this way, then it went this way, and then I don't remember that. I don't remember that. <laughs> so you and I sitting in a jury box listening to six to ten stories that are so, so different. Now, it's not like 
uh, you know, minor detail. <laughs> let me tell you some of the detail here. Uh, let me go to this box right here. Okay, now, this box right here, uh, and you take a look at it. One time, uh, in 1832, the, the Lord, that's uh, who he saw. And then uh, in 1835, he saw uh, angels, and one of them was <laughs> on fire. <laughs> I don't know, folks. I don't know. Okay, the angels on fire. Then another one in 1835, he saw a whole bunch of angels. And then again in uh, 1838, he narrowed it down to uh, two guys uh, dressed in white, I guess. So anyway, there's uh, six other um, versions of his story, but these are these are significant facts. You you can't fool most of us here in the world uh, that would say you know you're making this shit up. You're not telling the truth. So anyway, if you're a Mormon. Uh, and, and, hey, you know, if it lights your fire, stay being a Mormon. But you know what? I'm going to tell you something really serious now. Nobody in this world that is informed takes the Mormon church with any type of dignity or takes them as any type of a religion other than a cult. The Mormons have become the laughing stock of the world. You know, their, their positions on ERA, their positions on uh, the blacks, their position on the uh, uh, gays, their position on nearly every um, um, sociological issue has been wrong. The world is laughing at the Mormon church. They have finally got themselves so deep and so stupidly involved that they didn't think the Internet was going to catch them. I told you two years ago, I told you two years ago, the Internet is the death of the Mormon church. How can you believe the founder who was a pedophile and just screwing the brains out of 14, 16, 15 year old girls under the name of God, in anybody's mind, that would certainly put up a yellow or a red flag. Now that we know he's had ten versions of meeting God the first time, he can't remember who he met, how many he met, what they said. Suddenly, you know, common sense comes to me and goes, holy shit, I spent more than 50 years in that damn cult, and they robbed me of my childhood, they robbed me of friendship, they robbed me of developing my personality, my employment opportunities, and just ruled over me like, like a... Um, pagan king. I was nobody. I had no personality. Well, do I have personality now? <laughs> you just have to write in and tell me. But I don't know if I've developed personality since then. But hate, guilt, fear, since I got out of there, I don't have that shit. And now I look back and say, Look at the polygamous stuff. Look at Joseph Smith's uh, first uh, vision. Look at him screwing the neighborhood girls. Look at all this crap. And I say to myself, I, I was a fool. I didn't look at this stuff. I was a fool. I just thought, well, uh, the Lord's ways are not our ways. You know, right. The Lord's ways. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, I wanted to leave a, a, a link here that you can take a look at all of Joseph Smith's first visions. And you can decide for yourself if you want to be joining that kind of a... then join that cult. If you want to stay in that cult, stay in that cult. But for me and my house, <laughs> we're the hell out of there. We're the hell out of there. So let me put that link down there. You guys take a look at it and see if you're as uh, shocked as I am.